This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy III for the NES. Last time we just got started, we got our first jobs, and we got out of the cave there. Now this is uh, the town of Ur, this is where our characters are from, or where, they're, where they've lived at least. I think they were all adopted, it said. Hey, where are you four brats off to now? What? You're going to go save the world? Did you get hit on the head or something? He doesn't seem too fond of us. Press B to use an item. For example, try using a potion on me. Ah! Thanks to you, my hip pains have gotten better. Please take this. Okay, well that's interesting. That's the Elder's house. Let's talk to everybody else first. Those blessed by the crystals can be healed by holy water from shrines. This area surrounded by the Palmini Mountains is ruled by King Sassoon of the castle to the west. The town of Kazoo slides to the south, but no one dares leave this village because of the monsters. I guess we dare. There's the inn, weapons, armor, um, that's either a clinic or a magic shop, I suppose. The crystal altar sank underground in that quake, we're, we're doomed. You'd better take cure from the storehouse ahead. Monsters appear along the path, so be careful. So apparently there's a storeroom over there. First, let's check this side out. I saw another girl over here. I'm picking flowers. That's nice. How about that, lady? There must be a path through the trees here. Yep. Oh my! How did you get here? There are some potions in this well. So yeah, you can actually go into the well here. Looking on the water, seeing if we could use that like a spring, but apparently not. Check this one out first. Okay, yep. Looks like this is our magic shop. Alright, we got one pure. Give that to my white wizard. Okay, and if you saw what these items cost for one, if you do the math, you can see that um, you actually get a percent discount when you buy in bulk. Unless you buy them four at a time, let's like, yeah, let's say like the leather armor here. Everybody can equip those, so we want to buy enough for everybody. We already have one copper bracelet, but we can use another one. And yeah, see, they do actually stack in this game, so inventory shouldn't be nearly as much of a problem as it was in the previous couple games. Especially in 2, where the items didn't stack. Yeah, so that, I mean, that just brings their defense up by one, so it's not like it's extraordinary. But every little bit helps. I 
And I am actually going to change um, the red wizard from the black wizard for now. Although you can see it costs 16 to change from black wizard to red wizard. I can't quite do that yet. As soon as I can, though, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, my fighter can equip all of these knife or dagger or sword type weapons, but we already have two of them. Dagger, though, will be an upgrade for my black wizard there, so we'll get one of those. And a staff, so the white wizard will actually have a weapon. I already have a nunchuck, and I'm not even using it. See how much her attack goes up. Wonder if the hand matters. No, huh? doesn't seem to. It just doesn't increase it at all. Okay, that's a two point increase. I wish there was a, like an auto sword button, instead you just have to manually do it, although I don't think it'll be as much of a pain as um, doing it in Final Fantasy 2 was. For now though, unless I get short on money, I'm probably not going to sell any of that stuff. Just because switching between parties, or between jobs, that way I'll have equipment for them I keep all that stuff. Pots usually. I don't know if they started doing that with items in them in this game or not. You're going on a journey? I won't take your money. Please rest well. That's nice. And there's also like a cafe in here or a pub. With the valley blocked by that rock, I haven't been able to get back to Canaan. Canaan? Not sure how that's least pronounced. All there is to do is sit here and drink. Dick. Hey, try playing the piano. You'll need antidotes and eye drops if you're going on a journey. Alright, we did get a potion there. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm a dancer. And she is gonna dance for us. Talk to the bartender? Apparently not. Okay, and if you touch the candle, it says out for you. How do you like it? That's interesting. We play two different songs if we go to the different sides of the piano. The crowd likes the right-handed one better than the left. Another potion. It's walking pretty fast. I'll guess your strength. Hmm. There, I bet I'm right. Is he saying which is our strongest job? Not sure. Most people are sleeping, but you can walk on their bed. Did they, do that? Did they really just let me stay here for free? Oh, this is an item shop. So yeah, instead of 1500, it's 1202 to get 10 potions.
Get a few of those. Echo herbs are to cure mute. Eye drops cure blindness or darkness, and antidotes cure poison. At least that's how it is in all these other games like this, so I would imagine it's the same. Maybe I can just go and lay in the bed and that'll do it. Okay. So if we move to the bottom of the bed, it lets us sleep. Let's go to the storehouse this guy was talking about. I think there might be enemies over here, actually. This looks like a place for a hidden item. Yep, there is a potion in the grass there. And yeah, we can get enemies. Killer bees. Let the wizards try to handle one and have the other two guys take them on on their own. Hopefully that'll work. Nope. Lunath got his, but... Well, we'll just have him go for the back one and let the other three team up on the front one. Could be plenty. Unless he misses. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that's nice. They, um, don't make you keep targeting the same one you selected, so I guess this is the one where they started, um, letting it go to the next target if you defeated the one that you had picked in the first place. Seems like a place that might have a secret wall. The candle farthest to the right is the switch for a hidden door. The switch on the other side is on the north wall. Okay, there's an antidote. Guess I would have got a couple antidotes for free. Always nice to have more, though. And I'm just gonna check along here to make sure there aren't any other hidden paths going. Okay, well, <laughs> there was one block you could go down, but that was it. Guess I should have come in here before I did some of my shopping. Well, that's alright. For now, we still have plenty of money. Let's go talk to the Elder, though. You mean it's just right here? Okay, yeah. At least we didn't get stuck in there. That would have been embarrassing. So far, it kind of looked like all of these regular battles are just giving me one capacity point. wonder if it's going to stay that way, or if you can get high enough ranked battles that they give you more than one. Like if you have enough enemies or something. I think that land turtle we fought gave us more than one. But that was a boss. Okay, we did get two capacity for that. And a level up. I think I still need one more capacity point to switch Ingus. Yeah. Actually, just gonna go back and forth here until I get one more fight. I'm not sure how far the area here extends to where I can get into battle. 
And we got some new enemies. Werewolves. Again, that's a fairly common type of enemy to find in these games. Seems pretty early in the game to be running into him. There's a good critical hit. I was just looking at something there because it seems like the magic and the defense kind of swap out for each other as far as your item, your menu commands there. Yeah, on that last level up, if you notice, my fighting characters got more HP than my mages. Yeah, that's going to be something I keep forgetting, too, is that I have to unequip everything. I think he can probably still equip the same stuff after I change his job. Yeah, it looks just like the Red Wizard, or the Red Mage, from Final Fantasy 1. So he can equip the dagger or the knife. he can still equip the copper armlet. Actually, can he do shields? Yeah, he can do a shield. Or can I have him dual wield? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go with that. Or, wasn't paying enough attention. Did I get another dagger? Yeah, okay, even better. But we don't even have any offensive black magic spells yet anyway, so that'll allow us to cause a little bit more damage to the enemy groups. And since we got a little bit of fighting in there and we lost a little HP, I'm going to actually go to bed here again. Now we need to go talk to the Elder. Ah, okay. Here's a spring where you can go to get a free heal, but with the end not charging us here, it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Okay, so this one heals you and the other one revives any slain characters, I guess? I sensed that something had happened to you. Now listen to what the Elder has to say. Okay, so that's not the other. There's somebody that works here, I guess. The four boys' adoptive mother, Nina. Okay. Please, take care of yourselves. This is just Homak, one of the elders. 
Spiritual capacity is needed to use the jobs granted by the crystals. Now we figured that part out. And here's to Papa, Elder, the man who raised us. Dad, we... I know. I had no idea you would be chosen. Luna, Raphia, Ark, Angus. First, you must know that this was no accident. Crystals have chosen you by their will. Don't let their power, let their hearts of light go to waste. In your journey, heal off the power of darkness. Go now, in your journey. Okay. That's not so much of a farewell, necessarily. And that is it for her, so... Let's go ahead and head on out. There's another town already, or... House, at least. More werewolves, we've seen them. I would imagine Ingus is going to be a lot better at fighting now. It should be, with those two daggers equipped. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't take any of them out in the first round. That's a little disappointing. Zeus. Campfire. Well, there's a guy here by it. Aye! Scare him? Sorry. I thought you were ghosts, too. This town is cursed. There are ghosts in the inn. Okay, so you talk to him and he does the exact same thing. Maybe he's one of those guys that has that 30 second memory. Okay, well, it's kind of nice that it appears that um, reviving is free if you get slain. So far, at least, that seems to be the case. I've been turned into this dreadful form by Jin's curse. So it's like they're just outlines of people. I don't know if I'd call them ghosts. Yeah, so there are all the shops here, but can't buy anything because all the people that are manning the shops have been turned into these ghosts, I guess. For lack of a better term. I don't know why I went in there again. <laughs> The only thing which can reseal Jin is the mithril ring made in this town. Jin, who was contained in the cave of the seal, was freed in the earthquake. Well, that makes sense. I'm Sid from Canaan. The Nelb Valley got blocked by a boulder, and I wasn't able to go back to Canaan. So I decided to stay the night at the inn here, and then this happened. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Will you help me if I lend you my airship? It's hidden in the desert to the west. Heard about the airship in the western desert. Alright. So, yeah, we already get an airship in this game. Nuts. There was a mithril ring made for the Princess Sarah of Sassoon Castle. If only you had that ring. I think the princess in the first town in the first Final Fantasy was also named Sarah. I want my pretty face back. Somebody's vain. Wonder if we can stay here for free. Yeah, apparently. 
I didn't necessarily need that, that was just kind of a finding out. See what else we got in the zoos here. There is a mine back here. You can go in there, and I think there are some enemies in there. But for now, there isn't really anything you can do in there anyway, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to come back there later. Got one potion here. Ah, is there a secret? It would seem like it, but, um... Apparently not. Maybe that'll lead to something else later, also. Alright, we actually get to go in the airship. I don't think there's too much to it. Yeah, you just go up to the wheel here. There we go, we got an airship. But yeah, they were talking about there's a boulder blocking this, so you can't get past that. There's the first town we were at, Er, The cave over here, which it looks like we need the airship for that. And a castle, so yeah, we don't really get access to much. And you wouldn't, um, even need the airship to get to the castle over here. Yeah, I think you, yeah, you can land on the gray area here, too. Don't necessarily know what we're gonna find in there, so... Gonna drop another save there first. Everyone's been turned into ghosts by Jin. Since I was away on a mission, I was spared. If I had a mithril ring, I could reseal Jin. But the village of Kazus, where the ring is made, is in the same condition. What should I do? Okay, well. Look around here, we have a couple towers and then the main area. Check out the main part first, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not reading those if they're saying the same thing somebody else already said. Hmm. There's some treasures down below, it looked like. Okay, yep. Got some money there. Here's some more treasure. Got a leather shield, but uh, more importantly, I think, got an ice spell. And we do have seven casts to level one with a red wizard. We have eleven casts to level one with the white wizard there for cure and pure. That feels like a pretty good start for early on. It's not like the first game where you barely get any casts of a spell where you have to recharge. Alright, I guess back around here.
Well, let's just keep going up the center stairs here then. Monsters in the Cave of the Seal are all undead. You might defeat them by casting Cure on them. There's a White Slayer in the left tower. It's a holy sword with power against undead. Only a red wizard can wield it. I am the King of Sassoon. We have all been turned into ghosts by Jin's curse. We cannot return to our original form until Jin is defeated. Where is Jin? In the Cave of the Seal, north of this castle. But without a mithril ring, Jim cannot be resealed. I heard that Princess Sarah has one. Oh yes, a while ago a mithril ring was sent to Sarah from Kazoos. But no one can find that irresponsible girl anywhere. Could she have been kidnapped by Jin? Oh, Princess Sarah. We'll go look for her in the Cave of the Seal. Ah, thank you. If I remember correctly, there is a hidden door in this in the cave. Skeletons should be the key. Please, defeat Jin and save us. Well, I guess that tells us what we need to do. We need to go to the cave. And find the princess there and defeat the Jin. And yes, the reason I did bring a red wizard is because there is that sword here that we can find. But for now, I think I'm actually going to come out and we're going to drop a save there. And we're going to call it there for today. We'll pick up here next time and finish getting all the treasures in the castle here, and then we'll head to the Cave of the Seal. But anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.